Talking about that age reduction bill, also known as the Not Too Young to Run bill, we've got uh, Hamza Lawal, who is a co convener of Not Too Young to Run. Uh, we also have Dr. Uh, Dito Kumba Pierce, who is a lecturer, at the Department of English, University of Lagos. Thank you for coming on, gentlemen, to the program. Thank you for Let me start with you, uh, Hamza. First of all, uh, what is the status of this bill now? Well, currently we have 25 state House of Assembly who have voted yes for the Not Too Young to Run bill. They were waiting for other states to debate and vote on the constitutional amendment bills so that this can be transited back to the National Assembly and then forwarded to the President. No, for but, for, but for that particular amendment, you got the figure you want. Yes, we only needed to third majority, which is 24 votes, and, and now you have we to have 25. Try. But I thought they said that uh, the National Assembly can take that particular clause without waiting for the entire amendment to come through before they put it in the laws and then send it. Oh yes, they don't have to wait for the other states, but they need presidential assent. But if the president refused to sign, they can actually vote. Uh, so vote it, it, has the bill gone back? No, not to yet. the National not Assembly. Yet. It's still yes, but we've given the state houses of assembly an ultimatum of thirty days to ensure they move it to the National Assembly because we know this is a election campaign season. Why? Why ultimatum? Uh, well, because we don't want the process to be slow. A lot of young people are prepared to run come 2019, and we don't want them to lose that hope and that faith. The momentum is quite high, and we want to sustain it. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm just wondering, do, do you have to use ultimatum rather than, because if you have the numbers already, it means you're progressing. Shouldn't you have perhaps further lobbied them, because after the ultimatum, what can you do? Oh, you know that... As you can see, this is one bill that have mobilized and unified young people. And of course, some people didn't want this bill to see the light of the day. And they would want to play politics with it and delay it and probably ensure that it does not see the light of the day. So we as young people and campaigners and saying we're giving them ultimatums as our representatives to ensure that this bill is transmitted as soon as possible. What are your thoughts? Because when you hear uh, discussions along the lines of you don't necessarily have to be young, but you should have young ideas, and that will qualify you to want to run under that platform of not too young to run. When you hear comments like that, what comes to your mind? Well, um, again, this bill is about participation, opening up the space. Politics itself and democracy is about competition. And before now, you've not seen a lot of young people participating in this space. And of course, in the civil society space, in the entertainment industry, in the civic technology space, young people are leading. But in politics, they don't open up the space. And of course, we know we have the ideas, we have the numbers, we have the energy. And, and this is one bill that has allowed young people to aspire, which is exciting. You know, there are those who would argue that having the ideas, having the energy, and having the passion skill doesn't necessarily translate to being able to run a political office. But let's take that to Dr. Pierce. You respond to that. Dr. Pierce, what do you think? I think that um, we are making much ado about nothing here. Mm. About young people participating yeah, in the process? I think that young people have a right to participate. In fact, in most countries, once you, are once you are old enough to register to vote, you can participate at any level, except, you know, whatever the constitution now says is the minimum. Which is different here. It, it didn't say yeah. that that's why they're coming yeah, up with yes, this bill. Yes, this bill I is, you... is good. There's nothing wrong with it. The point about participation, nobody who is qualified to run should be denied an opportunity to do so. Young people, old people, anybody who's qualified and interested, committed enough, should be allowed to run for office. Yeah, but, but what they're saying is it, yeah. that qualification has to be qualified with the amendments that they're proposing to be included in Nothing the Nothing wrong with that. Giving the opportunity to participate does not guarantee success, does not guarantee real uh, participation because the fact that the law says you can you can you know when they had the civil rights law in the United States and they said from now on black people can go into any restaurant now the question is do you have the money to pay for the lunch in that restaurant so you is know? it about the money now for the younger people to well, be able to get into politics money, there's competition with people who are more experienced so 
they can participate. I support the law. I like the idea. No, but, but what I'm trying to ask you is that yes, I know you 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 stand with that. But what I'm trying to ask you is that how much of the younger people do you see coming into politics as we speak, say in 2019 or in 2023, considering some of these limitations that you've mentioned? This limitation <clears throat> is not is not limited to young people. If you do not have money in politics, you have a lot of challenges. So it's not just young people. So should we be talking about it's not too rich to run now? Who are not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's people who don't have uh, the kind of money that you have. There are many things we have to change in this country. This bill is not a major problem. You know, it doesn't solve a lot of problems. What we need is the kind of bill that will limit uh, the participation of people who come into politics with stolen money, you know, <laughs> because if it was if the if the space was was fair and open, then uh, somebody who has worked as a lawyer, for instance, for ten years and has maybe twenty million that he can commit to an election has a chance. But as we have now, notice what happens in our elections. It is only people who have worked somewhere before, usually in government, have amassed huge amounts of money, then they come into an election and they basically buy the election. Lord, so this let me is where the problem let, is. Let, let, let me come in. Lol, this is what we have uh, in the amendment. For the president, 10 million. For governorship, 5 million. For um, senators, 2 million. And for the House of Representatives, one million naira to run. Do you think you could pull this through to run at any of these levels for the oh, young people? Oh yes, young people can pull that. So through. it's not a matter of money. You don't agree with no, it? No, Again, not we, we're not going to make our no, campaign. Yes, this is for the, this this is for the registration. Yeah. And this, this is for registration. Yes, and this is something we've been moving forward with ever since that. It should never be about money, and that's why Nigeria is where it is today, because people come with money. And then you vote based on the money you get, not based on issues. Because when you sell your vote, it means you've sell, sold your life for four years and you would not get good governance. No, but then he's saying innovative it's ways have come up where we have started using technology to fundraise, crowdsource no. for funding to get uh, uh, money to buy tickets if I may come at the in party here, level. Just to clarify, that money in the amendment is for the ticket. I mean, the form, the, the yes. indication form, intention form, mm -hmm. not for the campaign. And you're saying that the young people are good to go with this. They shouldn't seek for it to be reduced further. Because what Dr. Pierce has said is, if the, level, if the playing field is level, then wouldn't, we wouldn't even be level. looking for the not-too-young yeah. bill just to run after you, But you know, before now, it was even higher than that. Again, laws would keep we'll keep amending our laws until we get it right. And of course, it's important to note that during the constitutional amendment process, there was a bill that looks at independent candidacy. So maybe when, if we have that, and the last time we checked, only seven state houses of assembly voted yes for it, though there's still time. So if we have that, probably we don't need to even worry ourselves about this, finding does money. But does this not too young to run bills solve all the problems? No, it does not. Let's not get it wrong. Because even if the president signed. The fact that you're young does not mean you win election. Mm. The fact, what we're saying is, let's allow the electorates to have a lot of op options and allow young people to be on the ballot. What about